I have a challenge for America. I doubt it's ever going to happen, and I doubt it really could. Obviously, it can't. But I still nonetheless challenge America. Here's my, here's my challenge for America. It's the morning cell phone off challenge. Imagine if in America, and I'm sure I'm not the first person who has said this. I haven't heard anyone else say this, but it's really simple. Imagine if one day you commuted to work and everyone agreed that he, she was going to turn off his fucking stupid ass cell phone. Imagine that shit. Imagine if these people who think that they're really hot fucking shit and they have to have these conversations. You know these people that have to have like so many conversations to make them feel good? Like if they're not having like a bunch of conversations like in the morning, right? They don't feel that they, – they feel less important. They, they, they feel unimportant. They don't feel as important as they otherwise would. Because they got to have people fucking calling them and they got to do all these like little talk, like, you know, all these like all this combo, right? You notice, you notice how these people, they're programmed, they're fucking programmed, they're like programs themselves, they're programmed, right? And so like in the morning time, like they've got to do all these like conference calls and like all this like, like dial in and like, you know, talk to the team type shit. And I get it. I totally understand. Serves a purpose. Has a function. People have to do it. It's a job. It's a career. It's a lifestyle. Imagine if one day Americans like on a holiday. But it's not really a holiday. It's a work day. But but we make it like a holiday. So people pretend like it's a fucking holiday. And for one day. Nobody in traffic ever touches their fucking phone. Imagine that. Imagine if these typical stupid fucking imbeciles, these rat ass bastards, in other words, these disrespectful, discourteous fucking goddamn asshole motherfucker drivers. If they didn't fucking use their phones for one day in America because we designated it a do not touch your fucking piece of shit phone morning day. Imagine if you were driving to work, commuting to work, and you look all around 360 fucking degrees and not a single piece of shit is on his or her fucking goddamn fucking phone. Imagine that. Imagine that shit. Kind of like the movie The Purge, but the opposite. We're like everyone's nice for one fucking day. Everyone's courteous. I know it's a dream that's not for real. But imagine if people, imagine if we lived in a world where people were actually smarter than they are. Imagine if we lived in a world where people weren't as fucking stupid as they are. Where people didn't slow down traffic. Like, imagine if you lived in a world, we lived in a world, where when it says 60 fucking miles an hour, people actually went the fucking speed limit. They didn't have to go faster because of trucks and people speeding. They actually did the speed limit. And let's say it wasn't 60. Let, let's say it was like a speed that made sense, like 80 or 90. And everyone went that fucking speed limit. Imagine that. Imagine if everyone went the speed limit and that person didn't feel rushed. Like you could just go a comfortable like 80, 90 fucking miles an hour and everyone was doing it safely. Imagine if we had cars designed to minimize damage on impact in collisions. I'm not talking about basic airbag safety. I'm talking about some type of other technology. Or even if there is a car wreck, it minimizes the impact and the damage done to the vehicle. At 80, 90 miles an hour. What if wrecks in America drop to almost zero because of technology? Imagine that. 
Imagine if we had a technology that prevented car crashes. And that car crashes dropped to almost zero. Imagine a fucking world in society like that. I'm not even talking about a utopia where everything's perfect. I'm just talking about technology that actually works the way that it should. Now, imagine a world where you look behind you when you're driving, when you're commuting to work, and there isn't a fucking stupid loser on his or her phone. Imagine that. Imagine if everyone's phones were mounted, nobody touched a phone when driving, and you would never see a fucking loser on a cell phone while driving to fucking work, to or from work. Could you imagine that shit, man, seriously? Like, imagine, you look around, and for the entire commute, however many, however long that takes... You're looking and you're checking and you're like, whoa, am I even on earth? This is weird. This doesn't make sense. Like nobody's on a phone. I mean, I see phones. They're like integrated into like panels and dashboards. Like I see people like communicating, but they're being polite and they're not touching a phone. Whoa, is this earth or is this a parallel? I must be in a parallel fucking universe. I don't see anybody holding a phone. I don't see any piece of shit, bum ass, for hire driver driving a black fucking truck, SUV, gas guzzler, going way under the fucking speed limit. This can't fucking be possible. Because usually there's a loser punk with the fucking suit on who thinks that he or she has a special license to drive way under the fucking speed limit. But I don't see that today. This can't be fucking for real. I, I, it's just, it can't. Imagine if like road projects were just done and no one was actually working on a road project because any road project that needed to be done just got done. Like in a real timely manner. Like they just did it when it needed to be done and then all the roads were fixed. Imagine that, man. Imagine if money, if we lived in a world where money actually went to where the fuck it's supposed to go. Imagine if people didn't have to commute 40, 45 minutes, an hour to some fucking loser ass job. Imagine if they actually went to work nearby where they lived and they didn't have to fucking commute to some loser bum ass job that's like an hour or even 40 fucking minutes away imagine if people didn't have to work 40 minutes away from where they live could you imagine a universe like that a universe where people actually are smart enough to get a fucking job Close to where they live. Could you imagine a universe where people were actually smart enough to work by where they fucking live? That way when they get off work, they don't have to be stressed out about sitting in traffic. Could you imagine a universe like that? It seems nearly impossible. I understand. Because it would have to be a universe where people are actually smart enough to like work like by where they live and there wouldn't be like say a 40 minute commute to some fucking stupid ass job that doesn't make any fucking sense to have to drive 40 minutes there to work all day and then to drive another 40 minutes back when you're not getting paid for that time You can get multiple PhDs over the course of a fucking career, even just a 5, 10 year period of time, commuting 40 minutes one way, 40 minutes another way, which is a ridiculous amount of time to sit in traffic in cities where people hold their fucking phones when they're driving. Could you imagine such a universe? No one holds their phones. When they drive, 
they don't have to because those types of devices don't exist anymore. They're integrated into panels. You just say something like, call my friend, Jimmy, right? And it just calls Jimmy, right? And you don't actually hold a phone and you don't have to be a discourteous loser ass driver. You don't have to be like those four higher drivers that drive half the speed limit that have like 2,000 people behind them on the highway because they think they have a suit on and a black truck that says four higher and that makes them fucking special. It, it makes them above the law. Imagine a world, man, where you, where you don't see stupid, loser, bum-ass motherfuckers holding up traffic. Could you imagine if people just got in a car or a vehicle and just went somewhere and got the fuck off the roads? Could you imagine such a universe, man? Could you, could you imagine, can you imagine the beauty of, of such a place? Where people literally, they get in a vehicle and they just go somewhere and they get the fuck out of the way. The light turns green and they just go. Could you imagine that if they just actually went the speed limit in some universe? Could you imagine that shit? Wouldn't that be fucking goddamn remarkable? Can, can we design like a parallel earth somewhere? Where things actually work the way that they're supposed to and they're not broken? Whoa! Imagine a universe where politicians aren't fucking bums and they're not lying con jobs. They're not, they're not wastrels. They're not imbecilious, supercilious, dick sucking, rejected, Rat ass fucking punk motherfuckers. Right. Imagine a world. Just go out on a limb with me here. Imagine a universe where politicians actually tell the truth. Government officials actually tell the truth. And they don't live in outer hell darkness. They don't live in outer hell darkness. Heathens, mis- miscreants, like here on this rock where you have heathen, miscreant politicians who lie and they cheat and they steal and they fleece governments. Imagine a world where elected officials actually do their jobs efficiently. Could you imagine? Can you imagine? Such a fucking world. Again, a challenge. Challenge for for America, though only a dream. Just a day when people, almost like a holiday, where every man, woman, and child knows, even though it doesn't apply to the children, but they know, where every man and woman knows It's not a day to touch a fucking phone. No, it's a day to just go somewhere and get the fuck off the roads. It's a day to not be a typical loser, bum, fucking lowlife dirtbag. It's a day to be not a scumbag. Could you imagine a fucking day like that? Can you imagine a day where where drivers are actually courteous? They don't fucking get on a phone. You don't have the typical stereotypes from the different ethnic groups driving the minivans that go really slow. The FaceTime conversations. The people with their costumes or whatever. Because I don't want to offend anyone. Whatever people wear on a daily basis for their lifestyles. Costumes. I mean, I'm just referring to every human, whatever people wear, you know, the shit that people wear on a daily basis when people dress up and they put on a fucking mask. Could you imagine that? A day when people 
if people didn't straddle lanes and they just stayed in their own fucking lane and they actually paid attention and they were courteous and they actually gave a fuck about the next person, the next man, the next woman, his, her fellow citizen. Could you fucking imagine some shit like that? Just one day where people would drive and there wouldn't be one lousy fucking schmo. Not one motherfucking piece of shit touching a phone, holding a phone in traffic when you're trying to go to work. Could you imagine some shit like that, man? Wow. I'm Oncer Grove.